All right, here we go with some new stuff. But first, um, so actually there's a very good chance these are going to be the last two chord strumming things before we actually move into the single note picking. Depending on how well it goes, as always, it always depends on how well you do, determines what we end up doing next. But, um, I mean, there's nothing wrong if the fun stuff is just playing random riffs. But if the idea is to play full, like if you have a goal to play full songs, then yes, you just have to, to do it. And what you and I are working on is going to allow you to play all that stuff. Now, if you're working on something and you have no idea how you're supposed to play it, it makes no sense to you looking at the music, looking at the tab, then we can work on a song type thing. So when you're stuck and you don't know what the heck to do, you know, let me know. So, as you may have read, and perhaps that's why you haven't asked, uh, yeah, I don't do the whole teach with song idea. I don't do that approach. I've tried it in the past, and it has never, ever worked. Never worked. Because we always get to some part of the song that's too difficult, and then we have to go over all the fundamentals on how to get up to that level of difficulty anyway. And most people, when they get to that spot, they just give up anyhow. So I was like, all right, well, I'm not doing this anymore. I, so yeah, I have definitely tried it many times, many years, no more. So, but if you are stuck and you don't know how to do it and you need some guidance with something, that's fine. Let me know there. That's totally fine. But yeah, if um, you want to be able to play full songs, definitely have at it. Have at it. Pick one you like for sure. Because if you have an emotional attachment to it, a deep connection with the song, you're more likely to, uh, well... Work your butt off for it, because you might have to. You're willing to struggle to play the thing, right? Um, I hardly know any songs. I prefer writing my own. So maybe that's something you'll end up doing. Anyway, so we got two ways of looking at this same rhythm once again. Lots of upstrokes, right? Basically, the only time we're going to strum down is... The downbeat of the bar or the uh, downbeat of one so the very first beat of the bar we strum down everything else is an upstroke this is deceptively difficult I feel it doesn't look too bad but as you get going faster it becomes very easy for all these upstrokes to drift into the next downbeat so you got to be very careful when you're working this up. Very careful. Just make sure that when you are hitting those upstrokes, be very careful. Make sure you're not hitting those strokes when the metronome is clicking. Because if you notice you're hitting the upstroke and it's going click, 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 you drifted. You drifted into the oncoming beat. So be careful. So something I like to do on stuff like this is I will tap the body of my guitar when it's slow enough to do so anyway. Definitely lots of head bobbing to be able to lock into where the downbeat is. Um, so yeah, just take your time with it. It can be very, very challenging. Here we go. Down to 60. One, two, three, four, one, and two, and three. And four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and three. So for this, and number two, which we'll get to in a moment, I like to say the downbeats of the beats not being played, at least quietly, so I can keep track of how many beats or what how many beats have passed? So I'm gonna do that again here. One, two, three, four, one and two and two and four and two and two and two and four and one and two and two and four and one and two and two and four and two. So this one and number two, good examples of when saying 
everything can actually be helpful instead of just what you play. Because you can get lost really easy on stuff like this. One, 160. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two hundred one two one two three four now one two one two three four one two one two three four one two one two three four Whew, that's as fast as I'm gonna go on this one right now. Again, it's very challenging. And I really got to tap my foot the whole time to make sure I'm locked into it all. I'm going to go back down to 160 and do the repeats here. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Number two, so this time I just went for the same rhythm throughout. Um, basically, the only time you strum down is at the beginning and the end. That's it. Everything else is an upstroke. So only at the very beginning and the very end is when you'll strum down. So for me, most people, when it comes to these, this eighth note strumming stuff, this is the most difficult rhythm because it's so easy to drift off course. So easy to drift off course. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two. Twenty. One, two, three, four. One. everything goes well we will begin doing the single note picking next time and uh, yeah any questions let me know I will see you again next week <laughs>